Greetings everybody, this is Neil Feiler. I'm here with the astrological message for the week between the 24th and the 31st of October 2020. We have been through some intense energies in the sky. The next week is going to probably relieve some of them and intensify others. This is a breaking point, a time for changes, a time for updates, a time for walking forward and it could be a little abrupt as well as Uranus, the planet of changes and updates, is coming at its nearest point to Earth by the end of this week on the 31st, conjunct the full moon and of course fully illuminated by the sun opposing it. So this is a time during the next week two weeks that we could feel these changes intensifying, heightening, quickening in our lives. This is not a time to seek stability, but rather a time to welcome the new, a time to re-establish the new foundations in our life. This is a time for sowing, for I'm sorry, this is a time for planting. This is a time for inseminating yourselves with the new. This is an exciting time that we could feel the smell of new ground in our nostrils and the quickening of things, the movement forward. Indeed, this weekend, especially Saturday, is a great time to do a personal ceremony or communal ceremony to welcome the new, to greet it, to accept it in your life, to wish for it, to grow positively in an immense light of flourishing and contentment in your life. To say farewell to the old, to free yourself of it emotionally, to free yourself of the anger, the frustration, the longing for what was and is no longer. And don't worry, the world would continue after Corona. Corona isn't going to be here <coughs> for the end of times. <coughs> but still, things that we have took for granted have been taken away. Our fragility exposed. Let yourself break free from all those energies that are still inside us. That still inseminate us with trepidation of what will be and accept the new. So this is a very good time to do a ceremony and we have another great time to do a ceremony this week, this Sunday, when Mercury is in Kazemi, in conjunction with the Sun at the heart of the Sun, in the middle of its ret retrograde and indeed another testimony as one of my teachers uh, Michael Ofek would like to call it it's another testimony for the fact that this is indeed a time of planting a time of insemination of ideas and words and ways of thought and navigation through our lives imagine on Sunday how you would like vision on Sunday how you would like your life to be in the next three months, Mercury cycle. How would you like it to develop in mercurial means? Meaning with your society around you, your interactions with others in close proximity, trade, and generally how your left brain feels at that time, how much anxiety, fear, anger, or frustration or, or, or stress is there and how much excitement and enjoyment and contentment so <clears throat> um, other than that on Saturday the 24th Venus is going to be trining Saturn this is a good time to reestablish um, relationships in terms of um, things that actually provide us with money, value, or relationships with others, and actually also put our relationship with our bodies into 
a more stable, adult, reliable, and responsible way. And this is something that stays with us over the next week. So Sunday the 25th we have Kazemi, as I said, and then Monday looks great in the sky. A lot of nice energies help us communicate and, as I said, bring in, greet the new. 27th also is quite a nice day, but it's a little already more intense. And the sun is quincunxing Chiron for the next three days, up to the full moon. So the full moon is always a peak energy time of the month. The energies are going to grow stronger as we head to Saturday, more intense. And, and you could feel the agitation. You could feel the need for excitement, for breaking free, for rebelling against things that bind you in your life in order to get more satisfaction, more enjoyment, and a better relationship with the material plane, Moon and Taurus. Conjunct Uranus, as I said, the changes that need to be here in order for that to manifest. So, when the Sun is Queen Kongs and Chiron from the 27th until the 29th, <clears throat> this is a time of clearing and purifying, of uh, uh, clearing away things from our lives, from our behaviors, from our uh, uh, character that have been there in the past and maybe have been crucial in the past and beneficial in the past but are no longer so. They are no longer a beneficial part of our future and this is the time of purification of setting aside the unneeded remaining with less but less that is actually more prolific for us and more positive and healthy for us. And it's a sensitive time. It's a sensitive time we are getting some help from Mercury and Venus that are walking together into the sign um, of Libra from uh, different ends, but they are walking into the sign of Libra. And as they do so, as they do so, our uh, need for communication and collaboration, for uh, um, fair relationships, and our ability to see and understand things from the viewpoint of the other, to get the more holistic framework of, the, of whatever it is we are dealing with and looking at, is heightened. So that's actually a good thing that would be there for the next couple of weeks, three weeks or so. Um, but Thursday and Friday, the 29th and the 30th, are already much more intense in the sky. You have to be, I have to be careful. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking to me and you. I have to be careful not to be too agitated, confrontational, um, violent, angry, um, because it could need, it could, or obsessive, you know, it could lead to emotional drama in our life that isn't necessary <laughs> um, communications can can grow more intense you know and then on the 31st we have the full moon in the eighth degree of Taurus conjunct Uranus and as I said this is a full moon that talks about a peak time of changes here on earth over the next two weeks as well the changes are intense, quick, abrupt, and exciting. So, I want to remind you that every time you share this video and comment on it, more people get to see it, so I want to thank you for it. And of course, if you want to study with me privately or in a group, or uh, have a consultation through Zoom, I still have 25% discount for Corona, so utilize it. Thank you for being who you are, and may we all live long and prosper.